Christmas, a time for celebration, a time of goodwill to all men. All that is, except one. Those of us with means should make some slight provision for the poor and destitute. Ebenezer Scrooge, a man whose contempt for others... Mr. Cratchit! ...is matched only by his greed and lust for wealth. Christmas comes but once a year, sir. Poor excuse for picking a man's pocket every 25th of December. But Scrooge is about to be taught a lesson he'll never forget. You will be haunted by three spirits. I think I'd rather not. Charles Dickens' immortal tale is brought to life as you've never seen it before. I am the ghost of Christmas past. You will see yourself. Ebenezer Scrooge! You are more worthless and less fit to live than millions like this poor man's child. I fear you more than any spectre I've seen. I will not be the man I must have been but for this visitation. Why show me this if I am past all hope? Charles Dickens, A Christmas Carol, with an all-star cast including Frank Finlay, David Warner, Susanna York, Edward Woodward, Nigel Davenport, Joanne Wally, and George C. Scott as Ebenezer Scrooge. A Christmas Carol. Merry Christmas to everybody, and a happy new year to the world! Nature, where the modern day meets the mysteries of an ancient race. Who's there? What's your problem? Is that about a stone? Oh, it's just this thing that Tracy found in her bed yesterday morning. Mrs. Miller said it was Aboriginal. Was it anything like this? Where an ancient curse brings death. Holiday becomes a vortex of fear for four friends. Somebody choke! Something dragged her under against the current. What the hell is going on? There's a death curse, and I'm on the hit list. Society too greedy to learn must pay the price. forget Kadecha. My name's Cameron Lansing. Cameron is like no ordinary child, for Cameron is able to do extraordinary things. But beyond Cameron's power to imagine beautiful things lies a greater, more awesome power. Dalton may be called only by the will of an child. A power that would summon up something far more powerful than a child could ever imagine.
Whatever it was that killed Rob is trying to get Cameron. Now that something wants to enter Cameron's world. And Cameron is the only one who can release it. Or destroy it. <laughs> Cameron's closet. Pray the door stays locked. From the mind of Robert England, alias Freddy Krueger, comes his first directorial movie. What's up, Chuck? A movie reliving a nightmare. Let him go! The powers of darkness have returned. <laughs> Turn to capture their souls. Don't worry about others who damage your pride. They'll soon regret it. The souls of the innocent. Someday soon, you're going to be down here and I'm going to spit on you. A real man has the nerves to take what he deserves. Some say it's a warning from God. England's 976 Evil. Gallipoli saw the birth of a legend unlike any other. They are not cavalry, Captain. They are Australian light horse. A legend that will never die. The Light Horseman. What am I going to do to get into the light horse? They were born on the wind, in the wilds of Australia. They were baptized in fire on the battlefields of Turkey. This is their epic story. We've got the best regiment in the brigade. Now we're going to prove it. If we fail to take their Sheba, we cannot fail. A story of honor. One of those hush hush jobs you know real boys own paper stuff of courage three cheers for the light horse hip hip pressure the bloody school what the hell do you know about war a true story of love he may never see him again he might never see his child and war 2600 meters Peter Phelps, Sigrid Thornton, Anthony Andrews, the Light Horseman, baptized in fire. There's someone out there. No one knows his name. No one knows his face. Oh, no. But now... The most terrifying man in the city. Carries a badge. Edward, unstable and there was a deceleration injury. His in your old hanging. You really think a cop did this? Why not? Did you automatically assume that it was a police officer instead of some lunatic dressed up like a cop? Spice squad. <laughs> He'll kill again. He enjoys killing. He strikes without cause, without mercy. 
He may be getting information from inside the department. That means he is one of us. You see a cop, you cross to the other side of the street. You're not gonna get me. Anybody who wants to shoot a cop nowadays has got one hell of an excuse. This one is my personal life, any of your business. Since your wife was found dead in the motel room. You gotta be wrong. You wanna see the big picture? Hold on, I, I didn't do any of this. When a cop turns killer, you have the right to remain silent forever.